One day after announcing parts of the state's economy will reopen two weeks from today, Governor Mike DeWine gave us more of a glimpse into what that might look like. News 5's John Cossack kicks off our team coverage tonight on the reopening of Ohio. Yeah, and John, Governor is going to unveil details next week, and this will likely look a lot like what we saw coming out of the White House yesterday. Yeah, and that is very slowly starting in two weeks. Governor DeWine's favorite analogy these days is a light switch. The economy may have been turned off with the flip of the switch, but when it comes to turning it back on, we're going to be using a dimmer slowly, gradually. The reality is many businesses, they're more than ready. Governor Mike DeWine promising this day that the plan they come up with over the weekend will balance Ohio's health and economy, gradually reintroducing commerce while monitoring its impact. This is not going to be a walk out and, you know, op open the door and, and we're all back to where we were because we can't go back to where we were. We can't go back to where we were until this monster is, you know, leaves our state. While Ohio is partnering with six other Midwestern states, the governor stressed ours will be a plan by Ohioans for Ohioans. But Health Director Dr. Amy Acton stress will offer a phased approach. So I do hope no one at home thinks like it's wide open May 1st, going back to life as normal. It's really hard to hear that, but we are not going back to six months ago. That, that's not the reality we all face. Meanwhile... In the new Van Aken district of Shaker Heights, time was suspended a month ago when the state shutdown orders were announced. Businesses sit poised and ready for the play button to be hit again. The reality is many of the shops here are prime examples of the types that could easily reopen, catering to a specific audience of shoppers, not masses, where social distancing is easily achieved. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose calls his office the front door for new businesses. And believe it or not, he says, there's been a healthy number of people knocking. We expected that we would see a large drop off in new business formations. And actually, that's not bearing out to be true. What we're seeing is that Ohio's entrepreneurs are, are resilient and creative. And people are starting new businesses and finding creative ways uh, to deliver services and, 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 and to do business in Ohio. And we're actually seeing a decent number of new business formations continue to occur. And Governor DeWine saying today there's no reason that any of those new businesses or ones that are currently shuttered should remain closed provided they can open safely and provide safety to both their employees and their customers. Live in Shaker Heights, John Kasich, News 5.